the green green hornet, the corpse that wasn't there. The green hornet. Hornet does. He hunts the biggest of all game power enemies that try to destroy our America. With his faithful valet Cato, Brett Berry Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with racketeers and superstars. Risking his life that criminals and enemy spies will feel the weight, the law, the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Brit Raid in the thrilling adventures of the corpse that wasn't there. The Green Hornet strikes again. Hornet buzz. Now, Mrs. Case and Ed Laurie are returning to the Daily Sentinel after lunch. The streets are crowded. And as they took their last corner, a man hurrying from the opposite direction ran into them. All three, are uh her? -huh. Man, excuse me, I'm in a hurry. Larry, hey, why don't you watch where you're going? I tell Casey sometimes I think you need traffic lights on this on the sidewalk. You okay, Case? Yes, except for my handbag. Larry, ah, oh, wait, here it is on the sidewalk. Hey, this is yours too? Case, what? Larry, this letter. Case, no, it's just, it's not mine. It's already, I, it's already been mailed, hasn't it? Larry, yeah, mailed and sealed, sealed hmm? Case, mm hmm, Larry, never mind your porter instincts. It's not right to look at other people's mail, Larry. Nuts, I'm not going to open it. Well, not, well, what do we do with it? Throw it away? Case, it may be important. Larry, mm hmm. Mr. Kernis Kelvler, it's probably the joke who bumped into you. Well, you, why should we bother with it? Case, give it to me, Larry. Uh, call him up from my office. Gosh, a good time. They better hurry. <coughs> Typo to blazing. Reed, hello, Miss Case. Case, oh, good afternoon, Mr. Reed. Reed, anything important? Case, no, it's been pretty quiet all morning. Here's your mail. Read. Oh, thanks. Well, that's... Well, what's this one? This isn't mine, Miss Case. Case. Oh, yes, that's a letter someone dropped on the street. Been trying to reach him by the phone. Do you mind if I try now? Read. Oh, no, it's... Right. Go right ahead. I'll glance at my letters. Phone dials. Case. Hello, Switchboard. Yes, this is Lamar Law. Helen. Will you try a number again? It's... Yes, that's right. Read, is a letter from Cricketer Burnett. She's the second office in the wax, wax now. Case, uh -huh. it's North Af in North Africa. Read, well, have that posted on the bulletin for her, huh? Case, yes, sir. Back to phone. Hey, yes, Helen. Oh, well, okay, thanks. Maybe she does work in a factory or some place. No, no, I won't bother. Goodbye. Phone's, phone hangs up. Case, well... Still no answer? Read, well, I know. Just put it in an envelope and send it to him. Case, I uh, guess what? That's the easiest thing. Read, why? Hey, wait a minute. Is this, is this the address? Case, yes. Read, chuckling. Is it right? It's right on my way home. I'll tell you what, Miss Case. Moving with my, I'll drop it off there myself. How is that? Car driving off. Then the car coming to a stop. Cato, this is, there's a house. I'll come back in one moment. There's the house. I'll come back in one moment. Car door opens, footsteps are so well up the house. Fast footsteps back to car. Cato, excited, Mr. Britt. Reed, well, why didn't it take you so long? Long You, Cato, you still got the letter. Cato, Mr. Britt, please. I had to see something through the window. You come look. Reed, what's, the ma what's that? Cato, please, you come with me. Okay, read, all right. Two sets of footprint footsteps. Kato, look there. You see? Read, well, I'll be, be Kato, take it in the door. Dog dog rattles. Kato, it is unlocked, Mr. Britt. Read, come on, watch out. Door opens. 
Reed, easy now. Cato, what do you think, Mr. Britt? Reed, oh, it's obvious. All we need, what we needed was one lot. Where's the phone? Cato, on the table. Got such a phone. Phone dolls. Then battle with, then ra- battle receiver. Reed, Cato, what's the matter? Reed, I don't get a dull tone, Cato. More rattles the hang up, then the hang up. Reed, hmm, that's odd. Hmm, I, I thought so, Cato. This telephone boy has been cut. Cato, oh, that's very bad. Reed, I'll get to the nearest phone and call the police. You stay here, Cato. Cato, oh, this very sad. Too bad for him, I guess. Door opens, Cato. Oh, that Mr. Britt. Hello? Pre, Mr. Britt, footsteps. Kato calling Mr. Britt. Says a voice, get him. Black Jack on Kato's head. Says a voice, now get busy. Vo- voices, V, Kato, you all right? Kato coming to, oh. V, come on, you all right? Grog, Kato, grog, oh. V, that's it. Come on now. Kato shaking it off. Oh, Mr. Britt, what happened? Reed, that's what, that's what I want to know. We found you in the hall when we cooked here. You got a bump on the head, top of your head, like an egg. Looks like a blackjack. Who was it? Cato, I don't know. Reed, what happened? Cato, I wait in the room, like you say. I hear the door close. I think it's you. I call and come out. Hearing voices in the other room. Mr. Britt, I hear voices. Reed, hmm? Cato, voices back in the room. Who are they? Kate Reed. Just the police, Cato. They're checking on the body. They'll get it. Now come on, just come out of this door. Then, then what? Now come on, you came out of this door. Then what? Cato, someone close to me say, get him. I try to see who it is, but something hit me on the head. Hey, that's all, that's all, except where's his letter? Read the letter you came to deliver? Well, you had it. Cato, I have it no more. Letter's gone. Read. So that's what they wanted. So, hey, say, Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed? Reed. Yes. What is it, officer? Sergeant. Hey, what kind of joke is this? Reed. Cato. Joke. Reed. Murder's no joke. Sergeant. Sure. That's what I mean. What was the idea of t- calling out the police and having all this? Keller, here, here, what do you mean? What is going on, going, what is going, what are you, you people doing in my house? What are you, what are these cars outside the door? Read, who are you? Keller, Keller, who am I, who am I? I live here, my name is Ernest Keeler. What does this mean, I come home? Read, no, wait, just a moment, Miss Keeler. My name is Reed, I'm a publisher of Daily Sentinel. Tell me. What's a dead man doing in your living room? Kidler, what kind of privacy can a per person? What's that, a dead man in my living room? Reed, yes, murdered. Kidler, murdered, but I... So, now hold on, wait a minute. One thing at a time. One thing at a time, Miss Reed. If you're playing a joke, you're carrying it too far. Reed, what are you talking about? Sergeant, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Take a look in that room. There's no murdered man... There's nobody at all. Read. That's right, Mr. Case. I don't notice any... I hadn't noticed myself. I got back there. Kate was lying in the hall. I didn't go into the living room at all. The police went in. Case. It's the strangest thing I've ever heard, Lord Mr. Reed. Read. Her body was gone. No trace of it. It hasn't been for the broken telephone wire. I might have believed it was a dream. Case. Then Kate and you both... The same dream, they laugh. Case, what are you the police going to do? Take you to psychiatrist? They laugh, read. Not quite. After all, they they realise. I won't phone about nothing. They're so, they've decided that Cato and I walked in on a practical joke. Case, someone has just plain dead. Read, that's it. Sir. That's it. Case, they got up and beat it. After all, Cato left the room. I suppose... What about using the blackjack in, on Cato? Was it was that to make the joke more practical? Read well, they hadn't figured that one out yet. Case, oh, good grief! 
This is because you delivered the lost, lo- lost letter. Read, oh, that reminds me. The letter was gone, too. Cato had had it when it he woke when he door opens. Lori. Hello, mi- boss, Mr. Ca- hey, Casey. Case. Hello, Lori. Read, hello. Well, Lori. Lori, I drew a blank, boss. Read, you stayed with the police, didn't you? No, he sure, and like you said, I hang right in their shoulders while they tra- checked up on this Ernest Cougar guy, the one who owned the house. Read, is it on the level? Is it his house? Delory, he's on the level all the way. His name is Ernest Killer. He does, he does own the house. He's even got fingerprint and proof of the identification. Case of fingerprints, Mr. Reed, a criminal record. Lori, nuts, crazy. Don't jump the gun. This guy works in the war planet plants. That's how he's got fingerprints. Case, oh, read Simon Pure, huh? Larry has a driven snow. Laughs, I don't know, boss. Maybe you and Kato walked into Fern, Fern, Fernity initiation. Read, really seems so. Somehow I'm sure. The police said the and it's her Krieger. It went to something, Larry. You saw Krieger? Larry, yeah. Gree, did he look like the man they bumped into Mr. Case on the street? Larry, think about it. Don't know, but don't get a look, a close look at that time. I asked Krieger about the letter, and he said, yes, he lost one. But it wasn't that, it was an important read. Well, it looks like the end of what, what might have been a good story for the Sentinel. I'll see you later, Mrs. Case. Case, but Mr. Reed, you have just arrived. Reed, and now I'm leaving. I'll tell you something else, Krieger. A man I saw lying on the floor. Almost, looked almost like twins. Goodbye. Larry, medical, holy mackerel. Say, Casey, maybe this boss is crazy. Hey, okay, Mr. Britt, I think about it all day. If I were not too busy for a bump on my head, I would not, I would not be sure. Reed, you and I are the only ones who are positive. Kato, okay, with this, that letter missing? Kato, okay, yes. Reed, there's something strange going on, I'm sure of it. Kato, okay, yes, sir. Reed, we've been waiting wrong before. We may be wrong again, but at least we're going to find out. Kato, okay, hmm. Reed, there's no use sitting around talking about it. Maybe we can use a hurrah with a green hornet. Get a mask and a gas gun. We're all taking on, taking the back beauty. A few seconds later, stepping through the secret panel, the rear of the closet in his bedroom, Britt Reed and Cato went along a narrow passage built between the wall, the apartment, house itself. Passage lead to an adjoining building block, which, running under a dark side street, through supposedly abandoned lists, but it served as a hiding place of a slender, sleek, super-powered black beauty, streamlined car of the Green Hornet. Two sets of footsteps, two guard doors closed. Brett Reed pressed a button, the grey car roared into life. A section of the wall in front raised automatically, then dropped into place, the gleaming black beauty spread into the darkness. Car speeding away. Cato, where we go, Mr. Brett? Hold it, same place, Cato, Craigler's home. More car. Car comes to the top, Cato, where is this? Call it. Craig's house is down at the far end of the block. We can leave the black beauty here in the abandoned way. Car doors close, Hornet. Here's a street. It's a good and dark. We, we, well, it's good and dark. We won't be. Kato, did you see that? Kato, yes, sir. Somebody's in, go in Kato's front door. Kato's front door. Hornet, it looked like Larry. I might have known. Laurie is a swell reporter. He always keeps digging. Cato. But in this case, it is not so good for us, I know. On it. Ah, it might turn out all right, Cato. In fact, it might be very helpful. Come on, we'll get into the house quickly. Be there when Larry leaves. You might get something. Larry. No, there isn't anything special I wanted to see you about, Mr. Kruger. But I can't help feeling that the boss did run into something. He's a level-headed guy, Kruger, Kruger, Keller, Krigler. Yes, I understand. I read the sentence myself. A good newspaper, Lowry. He must stop. We just stopped off 
to do you a favour and turn you that letter. Kugray, ha, huh. Lorry, the one you dropped when we bumped, remember? Kugray, oh yes, but it is important. Please don't you forget the whole thing. Larry, laughing. Oh, you know it's important. Kegley, maybe there's no, there was somebody there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was a practical joke. Whether it was or wasn't, it, it, it wasn't over and done with. Larry, okay, okay, see. You've got your letter, haven't you? Kegla, no, I haven't. Larry, oh yes, that's right. Well, well good night. Kegler, here, I'll show you to the door. Larry, no, you don't have to do that. Kegler, the door squeaks sometimes. Larry, oh, I see. Funny, go to the door, Kato. Kato, yes, sir. We learn nothing yet. Funny, Kato, back behind the brave drapes. Fox says, I'm dying, darling, Kegler. Hello, Kegler, talking. A porter was here. I'm worried, but I all right. You, if you say so. Yes, I understand. Yes, nothing to worry about. That's all. All right. I destroyed a paint letter at once. Goodbye. Phone hangs up. Call it. Okay, Koga. Hand over that letter. Koga, okay, what? Kato, look out. Hi, I've got a prescription for diabetes test strips. How much is the copay? That could take me a while to calculate. In the meantime, you should think about over the counter Contour Next test strips. You get 35 for nineteen ninety nine, and they're highly accurate. For full details, visit contournext.com slash radio. Have you noticed changes in the places and spaces around you? More trucks rumbling down the street in your neighborhood or a pop-up experience in a retail storefront. Have you wondered why? You're not alone. Check out Changing Places, a podcast that explores the future of our built environments. Join me, Miriam Sobe, in deep dive conversations with experts who are working to make spaces better amid changing ideas, trends, and social issues. Follow Changing Places wherever you get your podcasts. He has a gun, gunshot. In the house of the suburbs, another side of the city from Kroger's house, a man named Bolton hung on the phone and crossed to another room. <coughs> phone hangs up, footsteps. Man and them. Who is that on the phone, Bolton? Bolton, it was Kugler. Herman, ah! Bolton, yeah. Yeah, we put it from the central. has nothing around again. Nothing around again. I told him to fret to get it. Nothing going to so wrong. Hederman, you know this, huh? Bolton, yeah. Well, you can't blame him. It's pretty close. Hello, man. Yeah. It's a lucky f- thing that the, the fellow there slugged had the letter. I lifted it right from his hand. But he yeah. I told Quaker to burn it. He read it, read it, we read it, and they're right. You're ready. Hello, man. Yes. Say, we not do something, we do something about, you know, the van? Bolden, sure, sure. Hederman, maybe it's a river? Bolden, ah, oh, sure, with you. I am thinking. Footsteps. Hederman, well, now. Bolden, I want to double check. I got it call Kroger. I make sure he burned that letter. My darling, Bolton, I am in five minutes. He had plenty of time. Mother in. that letter could mean our finish if we got in the wrong hands. Bolton, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Funny? No answer. I wonder what happened. Hello, man. Still no answer. Bolton, yeah. Still no answer. How many times is that? Hello, man. I don't know. Ten, maybe. Bolton, it may be. It's been almost an hour. Hello, man. Maybe we that out. Maybe we went out. Bolton, sure, he went out, but why? It's almost midnight. He said nothing to me on the phone about Dover to Hederman. Well, hey, Bolton, yeah, come on. Footsteps, the door, door opens. Bolton, hello? So you came here? Kroger, yes. Bolton, so where you been? I've been calling you. Kroger, I haven't burnt the letter, Bolton. There's somebody who knows about it. Hellman, how ah, well, I say to you, Bolton, come in here. I talk, it's dark out here. Come in, in. Bolton, Kroger, yes. Well, look at Bolton. It's all right. Let's have it. What has happened to the letter? And what do you mean somebody knows about it? Hold on it. 
I can call you Bolt. To- I can tell you, Bolton. Bolton, your mast. Had a minute. The green hornet. Short struggle. The green drops to the floor. Hornet. Leave it there. Reach for that gun and pull that trigger. But hey, what is this all about, Cooker? You're pulling a fast one. Hornet. Don't blame him. He shot at me. Just his tough luck that you missed us all. Now, how much is this letter worth, Bolton? Bolton. Nothing. Why? Hornet. And what happened to the man that killed in Cougar's house? Hey, ma'am, what about the man? Bolton, Bolton, up your lip, Cougar man. Hornet, don't kid me, Bolton. You covered up pretty fast, but I've got to ways of finding things out. Who was the dead man? Bolton, you off the beam. Hornet, was he someone who knew what your setup? Oh, maybe that Cougar's a fake. Maybe the dead man was a real cooker. But you're pretty smart, aren't you? Well, it, the police might think so. Well, then, don't give me that. You're the hornet. You won't go to the police. Hornet, if I can, I sit. I'll get it from you, maybe. I can get it from your stooge here. Come on, cooker. cooker but I don't. Hornet, come on. Well, let Bolton think about it. Bolton, stay in here, cooker. Well, it, he's coming from with me. Bolton, no, he not. I am not. I don't think you can handle him right away. Now me and my husband can do that. Now get that gun. They struggle. Hyman, stand to one side. I cannot shoot. Hold it, you, go, you won't get a chance. Bolton, get him, Hyman. Gas gun spray. Hyman, just. Body slumped to the floor. Kelga, that gun. You didn't make a sound. On it, okay, Koga. Come along. Foot sits and door stop opens. Hold it. Close your mouth. You look like a fish. Night sounds, followed by a cold whistle. On it, sono voice. Hold it. What's back there? Koga, a vert garage. On it, all right. You go first. We'll take the driveway. Footsteps on driveway. Kato, whispering. Hello? Read, right here. Kato, I find out something. On it, just a moment. Moment. Pose, Koga? Koga, yes. On it. Walk, walk up to the garage. Stand there with your back to us. And remember, you, you have a perfect target against your, that white background. So don't try anything. Whistle, Kato. Well, what was it? What is it? Kato, Mr. Britt, I look in the garage. Hold it well. Kato, I look in the back. There's a big heavy trunk. You're right, Mr. Britt. Well, it was, huh? Fine, that's all I want to know, huh? Will you leave a note for Bolton, Mr. Ham? I see that Kruger gets back to his helm and keeps his mouth shut until tomorrow night. Bolton, ma'am, ma'am, wake up. Come on, snap out of it. Snaps to the face, huh? Bolton. Come on, come on. Ma'am, Gregory. Ah, what is my gun? Where's my gun? What is it? Ah, it's you. It is gone, Bolton. Yeah. Him and Koga both. I found this. Let us rustle. Wait, him. It's got some... Uh, ah, it's got the hornet seal on it. Well, then that's right. I am reading. I give you one more chance to talk money. Don't try anything till I call you. You will be watched. Well, then I guess we mean business. I mean, yeah. What about the garage? Bolton. Oh, we better go... Be like what do do what like he says, ma'am. We might sit tight. We might just sit tight and wait. Phone rings, Kegler. Hello? Yes, this is Kegler. No, I'm sorry, I don't want to work today. Goodbye. And hangs up. City room sounds. Lorry, city room. Ah, oh, Lorry's look pilking. Well, what? Yeah, what about Kruger? Hey, say who is this? I said who is this shh. Case. What is it, Laurie? Laurie? Some guy said he wanted a story. I, w- I should go, go see Kruger again. Case? Again? Larry? Yeah, tonight, around midnight. I don't even know who called. On it. On the phone. Hello? Is that you, Bolton? I sure you last night, remember? That's right. Sure, stick around. I'll see you again. Stay around fine. 9.30. It tricks his time. I am phone hangs up. Mayhem. I have been watching from the windows. I have seen a thing. Bolton. Ah, he's just around. He said so. 
Well, then, that are you going to do? Well, then, I don't know. I got the money. I've got the money for him. Hey, man, he's pretty tough. Well, then, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I wish we had taken care of what that, you know, the trunk in the garage. Well, then, and have the whole it find out. Ma'am, maybe he already knows. Bowden, maybe. I'll tell you, the one thing we've got to do. Ma'am, you mean right, Coker? Bowden, yeah. He's scared silly. He's already talked to the Hornet. And how much do you... We don't know. But he might talk to the police. That pressure gets strong enough. We've got to take care of him. Ma'am, well, him, huh? Bowden, yeah. We've got to do it soon. We can't go... Dog buses, ma'am. What's... That's the back door, the hornet. But yeah, who else? Footsteps under the net, under footsteps. Bolton, keep your gun out of sight, ma'am. Ma'am, don't worry. I don't take chances with the fellow. Ma'am, what are you waiting for? Open the door. Bolton, look at the glass, ma'am. Ma'am, it is a shadow. Bolton, no, look at it. It's leaning, it's leaning right against. Ma'am, you can't tell. It's a glass you cannot see through. Melton, there's something peculiar. Oh, well. Dog opens the door, he falls to the floor. Mayhem. Look out, Bolton. It's a body from the trunk in the garage. Propped up against the door. Bolton, well, who put it there? Who the hell? Who did? Well, it, I did, Bolton. Mayhem, the hornet. Bolton, you know about it. Hornet, I would want to know, know a lot more. The man dressed something like Cougar. Looks like Cougar. Who was he? What was his name? Well, then forget it, Hornet. This doesn't concern you. Hornet, when I, when I mixed up with something, I want to know all about it. Now, come on. Who was he? Bolton, who is he? Cougar. Hornet, Cougar? I get it. You mean the real Cougar? Bonnie, well, yeah, Hornet. Your friend who calls himself Ernest Cougar? Well, he's... Well, never mind. I can figure out. You took this man's place, didn't he? Took over his home. His man was kept a prisoner in his own house. Isn't that right? Well, then, yeah, that's it. Well, not that hornet. And that's uh, the newspaper publisher told police that he found a dead man there. This is the man he saw. Well, then, yeah, as well, he went out to the house getting the car. We got back, we slugged the man and found, we found here then, well, then, and took the body out fast. What was the reason for all that, Bolton? But well, I wanted our man to get a job the war plant. By using this one reference, he's a good one, got a good job. Hold it, preparing for sabotage, huh? But ah, something like that. Hold it, something went wrong and you had to kill him. But a letter came from the good cold message. Someone, someone had a real cobbler, got to hold of it. We got to the house, other house was on his way to the police. He saw his training him, got scared, he dropped the letter. Hamlin, did you caught this of him a couple of blocks to over? On and look, took him to back to the house. On it, on, ah, so that's why the letter was important. But yeah, look on it. There's two things you, we've got to do. We need that letter. And you, we're going to take care of this body. Hold it. Oh, it'll cost you money. Bolden, here, here, there's plenty. Well, I'll give you. Hold it. I'll take it all. Thanks. What about the poor partner? Bolden Kruger? Hold it. Okay. We'll call him that, what, that for convenience. He's nervous. You might spill everything. I am certainly. So you've got to get rid of him. Well, then shut up, I am. I was uh, working on that hornet. I uh, haven't got any ideas on it. I have an idea on Bolton. I may as well earn this money. He's got an idea. How about making it look like a murder suicide? But a murder? On it. Yes, your friend is a murderer. He's coming, commit suicide. I'll explain later. Bolton, when? On it when we got to get to Kogler's house, of course. Now, suppose you take this man over there in my old, old car. No tricks, I'll be driving right behind you. About beauty and the move. Kato, we close now, Mr. Brett. On it, yes, they're turning on the corner. No, don't follow them. Turn here in the alley. We'll stop at the house in the right car to stop. On it, now come on. We we'll go in the house the back way, and we we'll be careful. Laurie ought to be prowling around nearby. Case Laurie isn't here. Isn't that Logan's house, Laurie? Yeah, Casey. It's too early to be make a call, is it? It's uh, 
case, look, there are two men coming towards the front door. They're carrying another man. Dar- Larry, ah, oh, say that, guys. You ever had one drink too many? Holy mackerel. We're here, Casey. Case, Larry, what? Are you, where are you going, Larry? I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in the window. Larry, Casey, Case, what is it? What did you see, Larry? They're inside now. That man they are carrying was dead. He's on the living room floor, and all it's there too. Case, good grief! Oh, Larry, they've been. I do keep watching. You've got to phone and get the corpse here as fast as you can. Relga. I don't understand. I don't understand why you brought him here, back here. I don't see why. Hold it. Okay, Cooker. I'll clear it up for you. Ma'am, give me your gun. Bite the prince off first. Ma'am, here you are. Hold it. Thanks, Cooker. This is the gun ma'am used to kill the man. Now the idea is to use his gun on you and leave it in your hands. Cooker, no. Hold it. Yes, if you appear that you murdered a man, now you commit suicide, Cooker. No, no, Bolton, don't let him. Bolton, shut up, Cooker. That's the way we want it. This makes us safe. Let get it. Uh, then the hornet gives us the letter. We burn it. Police whistles and call. Cop voices, Bolton. Hey, what's that? Mayhem. Police cars. They're outside. Bolton, but please, hornet, hornet, hurry up. Shoot him, shoot him. Hornet, I will, Bolton. But not with your gun, with mine. Gas gun sound. Cogarel. 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 Gasping. I. Vardy falls to the floor, Bolton. Hey, what, what what good's that? It's just gas. He'll wake up. Well, yes, Bolton. He'll wake up and talk to the police. And you'll go to jail. Ma'am, pay it. Bolton, you've been fooled. Get him. Get him. Hold it, you're too late. Gasket in the sound. Ma'am gasping, I cannot breathe. But I'm choking and gasping, ah, oh, how did you take the floor? Kato, how are you, Mr. Brick, please? Hold it, yes, Kato. At a better way, remind me to send this money to the USO. Cops office, face sighted. Sudden, break the door down. Cops breaking door down. Sudden, in here, in this room. Well, I'll be. Are they all dead? Lorry, no, they just one of them. I saw the whole thing from the window, Sarge. Unless I'm nuts, you are going to you have a spy story that it was hit the headlines. So that's fine. But what happened to the Green Hornet? Newsboy, Entra, Entra, mysterious mystery spy. Tell us all, read all about it. Green Hornet's still at large. Extra, extra. You have just heard the adventures of the corpse that wasn't there. The copyright features of the Green Hornet Incorporated. All characters' names, places, and incidents using this drama are purely fictitious. Hear that? Is that America cheering or a sausage patty sizzling to perfection? It's time to cheer for Egg McMuffin and fresh cracked eggs at McDonald's. It's time to wake up to the aroma of freshly baked biscuits and treat yourself to a real honest-to-goodness morning meal. Breakfast, it's on at McDonald's. Now get any breakfast sandwich for just 2 bucks. Available only through the app. Mobile order and pay available at participating McDonald's. McD app download and registration required.